cancers. So uh, the term head and neck uh, is actually uh, derived from the concept that most of these cancers are located uh, in head and neck. So the sites, what we call uh, head and neck cancers are like throat cancer, uh, the cancer that uh, that's related to larynx. And then uh, the near nose, near mouth, or near uh, paranasal sinuses. So only these cancers we include in head and neck cancer. There are other sites in head and neck, like eyes, or uh, the brain is also in the head. The spine is also in the head and neck. So these sites we are not considering in the head and neck cancer because they themselves is a very big uh, field. So that those are uh, dealt differently from the routine head and neck cancers. So typically, if you want to classify head and neck cancers, so they are like uh, we classify them as the oral and oropharyngeal cancers, then nasopharyngeal cancers, then uh, laryngeal and hypopharyngeal cancers, then nasal cavity cancers and paranasal sinus cancers, and then the last one is salivary gland cancers. We don't include thyroid cancers in routine uh, head and neck cancers. They are they dealt they dealt separately. Uh, so. Uh, so in general, if you see in India, if you combine the, uh, all those different type of hepatic <coughs> cancer types, then the incidence is highest in India. So hepatic cancer is the most common cancer in India as of now, as of today. So uh, not only in India, but it is the sixth most common cancer in the world. So it is most common in the South and Southeast Asia. India, China, uh, Vietnam, uh, Hong Kong, this, this Pakistan, Bangladesh, this South, East, South Asian and Southeast Asian countries, they are uh, having most of the cases of adrenal cancers in the world. So uh, this is the trends, men are more uh, prone to have adrenal cancers than females and around 40% of these cancers occur in men. And only 80%, only 8% uh, seen in the women. Then, uh, Recently, there's a troublesome, uh, I could say there's a worrisome uh, fact that is coming uh, on the survey that more and more young uh, adults, like uh, people who are of age 20 to 40, are getting diagnosed with adrenal uh, cancers recently because of increased incidence of the usage of tobacco. So, uh, this is very troublesome actually. Because initially, uh, cancer means cancer disease of old age, but the trends are changing now. It's very worrisome because India is a young country and the and more young patients uh, getting cancer is not good for the country. So, uh, as I said, tobacco is the single most important risk factor for the development of adrenal cancer. It is said that around 22% of all cancer related deaths are linked to tobacco usage. So tobacco usage in any form is dangerous as Rahul Dravid and many other actors say. So uh, any form of tobacco is dangerous. So, but, but uh, and all forms of tobacco are directly related to the etiology of adrenal cancers. So, uh, as I said, it is the most common cancer in India and it accounts for almost 30% of all cancers in our country. More than two nice cases of adrenal cancer we are seeing each year. And uh, among these two nice cases, around 40% of the cases are only occurring in oral cavity. So, basically, those tobacco chewers, they are more prone to these oral cancers. Typically, the, most of these patients we are seeing in North and Northeastern Belt because those patients, the, the, the population, they're, uh, they're more uh, accustomed to use tobacco. So when I was staying in Kolkata, uh, it's, it's, it's a common scene in uh, streets that people spit uh, in school. Very common in the streets. And smoking is very rampant people. Uh, that is because many people from Northeast, the, those places are cold places, so they are uh, more uh, used to uh, develop this habit of smoking there. 